Welcome back to GTA Vice City. This is part four. In the last episode, we took out Diaz, the, the big drug guy in town, and earned his mansion, I guess you could say. But uh, he killed Lance Vance's brother, and that's part of the reason that we were attacking him. We also knew something about um, who stole our stuff, which we didn't really you know, get a clear answer on that. But uh, we're, we're going to be continuing from there. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Shakedown. Decorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the- You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. What you know the? what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Five? Oh, shit. He actually gave me a timer for that. I was going to say in the last episode, I'm pretty sure we go to the mall that we pass. Smash the panes of glass in each shop front. Me going in there and destroying your stuff. It just free again. Oh, I thought we had to break all the glass. That was actually what I was trying to do. <laughs> Oh, I thought it would be upstairs. What's the problem? Some bars refuse to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, bro's being a little lazy. Wait, that's literally right next to our safe. Yeah, they weren't expecting the cleanest drive-by of their life. Your protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hmm. Big tougher guy I could just put down immediately. Just blew up my car. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. That's what I need, right there. Now I can shoot in front of me. That's one. That's a one. That's a two. Yeah. Copland. Are you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so. I don't know. The timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are going to be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We got to go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We got to get uniforms, and we're going to need a squad car. Well, thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we got to do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a locker, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. When he, he was just on the phone complaining hey, with him. Let's get the cops' attention. Uh, 
I'm glad it did that because I thought I was about to get the busted symbol. Fits perfectly. Bit tight around the crotch, though. Oh yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. <laughs> Be cool if we can keep these outfits. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge. Nice badge. Nice badge, Lance. nice badge. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking. Five seconds! We got to get the hell out of here! Asshole. Fucking Lance, always in the way. But it should be too hard to do. Oh, well, they. Dude. can't fucking see! God! Yeah, I... Cops are fucking super aggressive on here. So this guy we're going to, Leo, had talked to him. Or like, this is like Leo's guy. The guy we took the phone from. See, si, man. Hey, easy, puppy. Business for me. You, you the boy. Oh yeah, you the boy. I think so. You know. No, I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, puppy. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little very chiquita ones. He's very entertaining. Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Twenty six checks. Remember, it's gonna be a minute before you. Amigo, you're the man, man. Whoa. Oh, hey, I remember that golf course. Anytime, man, cause you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones. They love talking about cojones. That wasn't too hard. You got big cojones, amigo. I think I proved myself. Cannon fodder. Papi! Who grabbed Lorema? Roberto, my son, what happened? Who grabbed Lorema? They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? Who take him out? Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo! You drive good! For a woman, right? This is no time for joking! Come on! Drive for me again! <laughs> Amigo! Take my boys over there! When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town! Every time with you, Ming. We gonna fight like men! Oh, wow, we did a hit here one time. 
amigo. Good to see you can make it. Die! Al parío. I got a sniper. They fight like girls. Take cover. We need reinforcements from the cafe. They took a. They took a taxi there. I have a sniper. If they just, just let the cutscene end. Take out that cowardly sniper. Them. Yep. Fight like men with huge cojones. Them and their cojones, dude. You got it. Look, I just picked them guns up. Whoa. Tommy, we have proved our mental bravery. Let us kill the man to a drug and make a good escape. Alright, alright, we proved it, we proved it, we proved it. The window, and I think it's better than my time. Other days, like Bay Day or my ex wife birthday, I want to hide under the pillows and cloud. But that's me. You bastard. You bastard. But whatever. I'm Maurice Chavez, and I'm not gonna write like down tires, two tires, multiple tires. About the yeah. Okay, then. Here you go, sir. Alright, we're gonna end that here. Uh, we did a couple couple little things to get us established. We got our protection money set up. We we got our protection money even set up in the mall. Now we got, like, an uh, income up to 5000 at the at the mansion. Yeah, we're making strides here, and uh, we gotta buy some properties and do some side stuff to be able to continue the main mission. We, um, but I'm very excited to continue this. I will continue it um, in the next episode. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you have a great day.